Good morning. This is Suzanne, the writer and photographer for the blog, Barking and Barkers. And we are documenting our pet friendly journey north along the Pacific Crest Trail. Um, welcome to my Captain's Log YouTube channel. It is Tuesday, June 27th, I think. Um, and we are doing awesome today. We are back in beautiful Oregon forests, this beautiful wilderness. Uh, you can probably hear the hum of mosquitoes. <laughs> Last night was some pretty brutal mosquito weather, but we made it through and just stayed inside our cozy tent for everything <laughs> because they were bad. Even with mosquito spray and everything covered, you just get out there and they just swarm you. So now that we're walking, they're looking a lot better, which is awesome. And you know, I'm just happy to be back in an area where things are alive and growing. Um, I think uh, yesterday I was, we were walking through the Cedar Creek fire area and the recording was just so sad because it's just so dead. Everything was dead there. So today we've got some trees full of lichen and sun shining through them. It just looks like a fairy tale. It's absolutely beautiful. A little creek flowing over there. Um, yeah, it's uh, good to be back in a canopy. Uh, we will break the canopy later today though and hopefully not run into snow. Uh, we're going right behind the sisters, the three sisters. So we'll be on the west side of them. So we're hoping the ridge lines won't be too snowy up there, but I'm pretty excited for those views and for just the sheer beauty that is the Three Sisters Wilderness. And we're in it already, just uh, plugging forward until we get to that ridge line, only a few days away from Bend, which is great. Um, we ne never ran into lava rock yesterday. It's been ground like this, just soft pine, mud, sand. Um, so the paws are looking awesome still. No breakage, no soft spots. We're doing awesome with the paws. Um, Chloe's carrying a little bit more in her pack now. I had just so much food, so she is carrying uh, just a little bit of her, a day's worth of her food in each of her pockets. <laughs> um, so probably closer to four pounds now on her pack, but she is 51 pounds. So we are still within our percentage that she's allowed to carry. And it is helpful because my pack was so heavy I was just dragging the last couple days, so, um, and just so much food in it. <laughs> so, yeah, here we are, Pacific Crest Trail. Um, I love this area. I love the rocks. I love the creek. I love the trees. Love seeing the mountains. Um, the girls are having so much fun. We, uh, almost sounded like we were in a horror movie yesterday because you have the hum of all the mosquitoes. And it's like loud, like it sounds like uh, one of those infestations if you've ever watched like a horror movie and like all the locusts are coming and it's that loud hum. That was our lives yesterday <laughs> after we got through the burn area, just that hum. And then we have uh, the whistling of mountain goats going on. And if you haven't heard of a mountain goat whistle, you should Google that. Cause it's like kind of loud. It sounds like a scream. So <laughs> you've got this hum and then you've got ah, like popping out every once in a while. <laughs> and that was crazy. We did not see mountain goats. I think they're afraid of the smell of dogs. But if you um, have read my blog, you know that Chloe is terrified of them. 
and I thought it was a unicorn when we saw one at Three Finger Jack. So uh, they're around here. So that's going to be fun. Um, if we see one, I will take a picture and share it in a short. And yeah, uh, so dogs are doing good. We're doing good. I have a nasty blister on my foot right now that's... Uh, a blister within a blister and then that blister popped so now it's a wound and the key is to try to keep it dry so uh, I have my seal skin socks on and a uh, leuco tape and a bandage and Seth cleaned it out thoroughly yesterday hoping to avoid any infection down there you do not want an infected foot on the trail that is for sure so we've got that taped up and yeah, otherwise, I'm doing really good. Uh, a personal issue. My underwear has the biggest holes in it. So I started out with Waxer underwear. They're kind of a new thing because I usually wear men's boxers when I'm backpacking because I find them so much more comfortable and I don't get any chafing and it's great. So I was like, well, they have boxers for women. So... I got three of them before the trail for this purpose and I have been using two pairs of underwear while we hike. Um, both have huge holes in them, like they don't even work anymore. Just the holes are so big that like you can't even use them. So I'm still wearing them. I don't know why, <laughs> mostly because I'm like... That's all the underwear I have, so that kind of sucks. So once we get to Bend, I will go back to regular men's boxers, um, and they're cheaper, and they seem to last longer. <laughs> so, yeah, although, you know, they did make it 500 miles. And we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I accidentally ended the video a little early. Yes, that's the good news. We have made it 500 miles. Uh, it feels so good. My poor shoes. <laughs> My shoes are starting to show uh, some damage. and uh, My clothes, clearly, are showing some damage. But when you're walking for 2,000 miles on the Pacific Crest Trail, you will probably need multiple pairs of underwear and shoes, is what I'm learning. But uh, yeah, here we are. So what I've learned, um, just in reflection of yesterday, I was just thinking about that burn area and one of my favorite quotes that I guess I kind of made up on my own is that everything grows in Oregon, even your soul, if you allow it to. And I love that quote. And it just kind of was ringing through my mind yesterday as we walked through where everything was dead, but you could see little spots of grass just trying, trying so hard to grow. And then you end up back in the forest like this. It's just so rich and just full of lichen and trees and brush and bugs. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of made me remember that everything grows everything heals oregon you can put a seed in the ground that you don't even want to grow and it will absolutely grow so that's been what's running through my mind yesterday and just a nice reminder that even if you're not in oregon um your soul can grow if you allow it to so that's uh that's the moral of the day. Um, we're going to climb over this tree now. I hope you guys all have many happy tales and happy trails. Chloe sends her love. Woo! And, uh, yeah. Take care. Cheers.